Hi, uh, I'm in Tralee, County Kerry. It's quarter to six in the morning. It's absolutely freezing. Kerry, as you know, is a tourist county and full of a lot of Americans. And I'm hoping to meet up with an American, but he's not a tourist, very far from it. Hiya. Morning. Sorry I'm late. I thought you were staying here. So what's your, your area? What do you cover? In terms of the home delivery? Yeah. Pretty much just around Chile. This is Chris Maloney from Brooklyn, New York. And how many houses is that? I have it spread out over five days. So there's about, I think about a hundred, between 170 and 180 houses. For okay. customers. I try to have everyone delivered by eight o'clock. There's that sound that people talk about. Yeah. <laughs> it's the bottle that really sells it all. People are kind of intrigued. Chris met his Irish wife in America. They moved back in 2010. Well, we moved back because my father-in-law had died and my wife wanted to be near her mom. And you know, in 2010, there was nothing going on in terms of work. And we saw an ad for some guys that were starting around in town. They had a, a milk round in the glass bottle and uh, I started working for them and then eventually just took it over. Have a herd? Uh, I've never touched an animal. I never touched a cow. Um, I get the milk from my neighbor. So. And were you involved in milk in America? No, not at all. I was a teacher and a carpenter. Why didn't you do teaching in carpentry here? Well, there's not much use for an uh, American history teacher in Ireland. And at the time when we came here, there was no building going on. So. Those couple of seconds of running actually takes a bit of time off of the whole journey. So all of us, when we were kids, had paper routes. The paper I delivered was early in the morning, the daily news. So I'm only doing what I did when I was 13. It's great to see the day starting, isn't it? It's, you, when, that's what I'm saying, like when, uh, on a nice day, it's uh, it's very nice. You get to see it the way people, other people don't. I still look left instead of right sometimes. Like, you know, I'm still looking left in the, like they do in the States. My wife, she has got a good job. Actually, for the, the milkman part, it's not a whole lot more than grocery money. But I've taken on a hotel who's using the milk for the bedrooms now we're starting to see a little bit of profit, you know. So people like seeing milk bottles in the minibar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and I guess I'm the only wacko that's putting it in the glass, you know. Chris believes in the glass bottles because he thinks they're better for your health and the environment than plastic ones. But Chris is also not that pushed about new technology. The thing is frozen. Back to the papers. For example, he never uses Google Maps to find his way around. You need the kids with you. <laughs> I'd much prefer to uh, not say get lost, but ask people for directions. Because, you know, you get a feel for the 
for the place. You hear the accent? Yeah. This isn't just a male thing of not wanting to ask directions because you're too damn proud, is it? <laughs> no, there's a purpose. <laughs> really? You're trying to get the is that to tell your lane. wife, yeah? The purpose, according to Chris, is to scout for new business in the area. New homes and new shops. Right, so sort of asking the directions, uh, just sort of to... I guess you could actually call it marketing research, you know, but talking to people and trying to find out would it be a good fit. This job evokes another memory from Chris's childhood in Brooklyn, New York, that of the seltzer delivery man. Uh, what did they call it? Mineral water here? Or carbonated water. Carbonated water, yeah. There'd be, there was this old delivery truck and you could hear him coming with the thick, thick glass bottles of seltzer and you know we have to get out of the street for him to pass but he'd, they'd be in these old wooden crates and you'd hear them clinking back and forth as he was rumbling by oh, look at this yeah no this is uh, yeah if, if any if anyone is from New York or America watching don't don't get the impression that Ireland looks like this all the time this is a rarity. I used to think it was actually very funny when we first got here. The forecast for like the weekend would be sun or something like that and people would be getting really excited. You know, taking days off and uh, you know, it was just all the chat on the radio. I was like, what is this all this? It's just a bit of sun. And, uh, but now I get it. You know, you don't get it very often. So there's something to be excited about. Chris isn't all about old technology. His customers can pay their bills online. But when I offer the service to do it on um, the computer, that's a, you say, uh, so that means you're not going to come around then? And uh, I say, well, yeah, no. I say, oh, no, no, we want you to come around. So I say, okay. And do they chat to you when, when you... Oh, yeah. Well, we always have a bit of a chat. When we first came here, one of the first jobs I had was with the census. And I loved it. I enjoyed going to the door and having the chat with people. So, you know, th this is just, in a way, it's a similar thing. Uh, Chris Maloney from Brooklyn, New York, and also from Ballymac Dairy near Tralee, County Kerry, delivering a lot more than milk. <laughs> 